Yo, thank you for clicking on today's video. I'm gonna be showing you guys the best way to speed ramp your music videos or any sort of footage you have within Premiere Pro. But before we get into this video, I just wanna put you guys onto my brand new overlay pack. So guys, if you wanna grab this today, feel free to go in the link in my description and download yours today. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and if you have been enjoying the content, smash the like button. Let's head straight into this. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is once you're in your timeline, once you got your clips all synced up, this is just the old music video that I edited a very long time ago, filmed and edited, and it's just all synced here. So I got two clips that I'm gonna be showcasing you guys on how to speed ramp and what to do with them to give it that sort of effect. But the first thing I like to do is, when I have my little segment on where I wanna add these speed ramps, I make sure I listen to the song, I listen to the audio, any sort of bass bumps, snares, any sort of instrumental features where I feel like, yeah, okay, this is where the speed ramp will go. I will then add my M markers that I've done here. So one, two, three. That's basically where I want the speed ramps to happen. Right here, as soon as this comes to this first marker, we're just gonna add a cut and we're gonna slow-mo this clip right here by right clicking and going to speed duration and changing this to around, I like to do around 40. And because I shot this in 100 frames per second, look how smooth we've got that to look. So as you can hear, as soon as that bass hits, bang, it slows down. And then on the second hit right here, you wanna add a cut. And we wanna speed this up to around, let's just say 650. Okay, and what you can do is if it's too short, just extend your clip a little bit, just so you can see how much speed you're getting. Okay, so that's the sort of look we're getting so far. Looks very choppy. So we're not gonna keep it like this at all. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna listen to the song, listen to the instrumental, and see where we need to cut off this speed ramp. So I'd say around there, maybe just a little bit towards the end there. So now, we got this next clip coming in, like that. So it'll slow down, speed ramp. All right, so the first thing I do with this is obviously, I usually add effects to my speed ramp. Now, a lot of people do it within After Effects. You're gonna you know, mess around with the speed graph. You're gonna smooth things out with keyframes. But if you're just editing within Premiere Pro and you kinda just wanna do it all within Premiere Pro, this is for you guys, okay? So the main thing that I do is I add an echo effect and I start to arrange the echoes, the number of echoes, the decay, etc. But because I have a preset right here, which is from my intensity preset pack, I literally just drag my ghost trail effect onto this clip right here. And it's added my speed ramp effect that I like to do in all of my videos. Press enter to render it. So then now we've got an effect looking like this for our speed ramp. And you guys can adjust this, you can change it. Now I might look at that and say, you know what, I feel like the speed is going on for a little bit too long. So I'm just gonna add this to around, let's really bump this up guys, 900. For this clip, we're just gonna have a nice slow-mo. So I'd say from here, let's just drag that back into here and just turn down the music a little bit. And we're gonna right click, speed duration, change this to 40 again. So then we're getting a look like this and going to around here where he blows the smoke out right there and then add a speed ramp here so you guys can just keep adjusting until you feel like yeah this is the right look that i'm kind of wanting to get all right so then now when we watch this back that's the sort of speed ramp you're getting so you get more of a movement which is a little bit more better guys and in my opinion we could just slow down just a touch maybe 750 and then just add our ghost trail effect again so now, when we watch this back, we've got the slow-mo speed ramp there, slow-mo speed ramp there. All right, and then it can just continue into other performance clips and carry on from there. Now, to actually add some source to this, what you can do is you can get an adjustment layer right here. You can add these flash effects just before the speed ramp, and you can add it after the speed ramp as well to smoothen them out. Now, I'm going to be using my intensity preset pack, and we're going to go to intense flash effect. We're just going to add that onto our first adjustment layer just to see what sort of look we're getting when that flashes through. So we've just added a nice flash before the speed ramp. And then we could just literally copy this sort of effect onto the first and second speed ramp right here. So now this is the final look we got. Flash, speed ramp, flash, 
nice speed ramp there and what i would like to show you guys as well is another example this is another video we shot together edited and filmed by me and i basically did the same sort of speed ramp that i've just shown you just with some more echoes so here's an example right here we're performing clip slows down speeds up literally just like that so as you can see here the clip slowed down then right here the speed ramp comes in speeds it up with loads of echo there and then slows back down and goes into the next clip just like that and that's exactly what it looks like slow down speed ramp slow so that is how you can add these effects to your videos and that is a great example of another video that i've done so it slows down here slows down and then speed ramps there into the next clip speed ramp and if you really wanted to add some extra source to this speed ramp, we could just literally adjust our echoes simply by adding seven instead of four and just increasing the intensity of the echoes you know, 0 0.80 instead of 0 0.23. And this is the sort of echo we're getting, which is very similar to the other example that I just showed you guys. So if we render this through, so now when we watch this one back, that's the look we're getting very clean and it's added a lot of more source to our speed ramp and that is just a style that i like to go by adding more intensity to my echo and just making a speed ramp look more exciting so guys i hope this video helped you out a lot with speed ramping in premiere pro very simple guys very easy to use and it's very easy to customize especially if you're trying to get it to a style that you want to you can just keep switching and changing things if you would like an advanced version of this within after effects feel free to comment that below but i just wanted to dive into premiere pro for you guys that are looking for a simple effect to start off with with your videos music videos edits everything so if you're new here make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you enjoyed today's video smash that like button i appreciate all the support on the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video love